Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. Uh, this is Tom, your friendly library geek here. Today I'm going to show you how to use PowerPoint to approximate what you could get in our studio. Uh, currently, because of COVID-19, our studio is not available for reservation. So I figured this morning I would make a video after I've gotten a few requests for studio reservations. I figured I should show you guys how to sort of approximate what you can get using PowerPoint itself. Uh, this video is using PowerPoint 2020 or a locally installed version from 365. If you only have uh, PowerPoint 365 through the web, you're going to need to download a copy of it and run it locally off your machine to do that. Um, this method that I'm using does not work from the web. So if you're starting your PowerPoint within a browser, that's not going to work. Okay. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. We're right now looking at my PowerPoint window. Um, forgive me, first off, little housekeeping. I'm using a separate recording application to record an application that's going to record the screen. So if there's any technical things, my apologies. And if there's any rough edits, you know that I'm only human and I have messed up. So without further ado, this is PowerPoint. I think I have 365 installed locally here. This is my home machine running this. Um, we've got a slideshow already opened up here. And I'm going to go to record this now. Uh, I'm going to go to the slideshow option that's up at the top here. And there's a button for record slideshow. Big surprise. If you click on the little down arrow there, you get two options to either record from current slide or record from beginning. Since we're going to do this on a fresh slideshow that I haven't recorded anything on, we're going to record from beginning. It's going to give you a little viewer and you get to see me here now too. Um, if you look down at the bottom, we have some options here. These are what you're used to seeing within meetings sometimes. Uh, we have a laser pointer a little drawing tool, a pen, and a little highlighter tool, and you can choose fancy colors for each one. These, if you do use them, will show up in your slideshow, in your presentation recording that you're making. So bear that in mind. These aren't just for yourself to help you follow along on things. These are going to show up. And if you draw on the slides, it actually becomes an element within your slideshow itself on the slide itself. Fancy, I know. Um, as does your little video recording. We have these options over here um, to either turn your microphone on and off, um, turn your camera on and off, and to turn your camera preview on and off. Um, I'm going to leave the camera turned on because in our studio, we typically have people standing at the podium with the slideshow behind them. This is kind of approximating that. Actually, this is kind of approximating that. It's a little bit reversed here, so doing the uh, Vanna White thing to point things out is a little bit strange. Um, but yeah, let's go over and look at some settings as well. We can choose some settings for our camera, basically just choosing which camera we want to use and which microphone we want to use. Um, we don't get very many options as far as how big the video is going to be. I'll show you that later on. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start recording. The controls are up at the top uh, and you have a choice to actually show your notes too. If you need to see notes to help you narrate along, um, that's up at the top here as well. So we start recording, I get a countdown and now I'm recording my presentation. I have transitions on these slides and it started off with the transition for me automatically. So isn't that fancy? I have my slide navigations to the left and right of each slide. So I'm going to click to advance. And some little tips for you, I have loaded into this little meta presentation. Uh, first off, you'll notice um, we did check our camera settings, that's first off, to make sure that we're actually recording what we want to record and using the microphone we want to use. I currently have about six microphones hooked up to this machine. Um, and I know I have at least two camera sources, so I have to make sure which one is recording for which. You probably, I hope you aren't as complex as I am. Um, I hope you have something simple set up for yourself. Um, 
do, if possible, use an external webcam. Uh, you will get better quality from an external than you will something built into, say, your laptop screen. Um, yeah. So other bit of information, uh, remember to look at your camera. It's going to be tempting to look at your slide instead of your camera, but then you end up recording something that looks like this, which isn't all that engaging. It's much better to actually stare at your user or your audience, right? Usually. Uh, and the last thing you may have noticed when I did the slide transition, I actually stopped speaking and then clicked the button, took a breath and let the slide load. The way PowerPoint does its recording, it will actually cut between slides. If you have any sort of transition, it becomes blank space in between those when you make the whole movie of it. So it's super noticeable. You can't talk over a transition, okay? So you'll want to finish speaking when you're done with your slide, click next, and then start with the next one. It's a perfect opportunity to take a breath, okay? And that's about it. That's pretty much all I have to say. This will now finish. I'm going to be done with my slideshow. It automatically stops recording. You'll notice the record button turns gray when you're at the end of the slideshow. And then it says click to exit. Okay, importante. Do not click this clear button. I know it's tempting, it's an X and we're taught to click X to close out of things, but that will clear all of the recordings that you've done. You wanna click the X in the top right that actually closes it, okay? Now that's brought me over to my slideshow again. And you'll notice each slideshow, each slide has a wonderful little video attached to it as well. <laughs> that actually worked. So now we're going to save. And this is the other key thing. I'm gonna go to file and Excuse me while I plug in my mouse. Okay. We're going to go to File, and we're going to go to Save As. And you're going to want to put this somewhere. Uh, we'll just call this uh, Example. And here's the key thing. In the format, in the dropdown, go ahead and choose MP4. That's a video file, okay? Go ahead and say save. And PowerPoint's gonna take its sweet time actually making the video file. You can watch it happen down below. Don't do anything else until this completes, okay? And this can take a while. PowerPoint is not a video editing program. It's not really, it's not really its strong suit. So it's gonna take its sweet time actually making the MP4, be patient. If you have longer than, say, a five-minute presentation, this can take upwards of an hour. Um, it won't take an hour for a five-minute presentation, but it will take a significant amount of time. So in other words, if you have an assignment that's due at midnight, don't do your recording at 11.30, okay? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna speed this video up until it's actually done with this so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so I think that finished recording. Let's go ahead and take a look. It's on my desktop, I believe. Yep, there's example. Now I'm recording my presentation. I have transitioned. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Um, your video elements are just that. They're video elements that appear on each slide. So you can move them around if you would prefer to have yourself in the top left or you know, smack dab in the middle, wherever you feel like doing it. Do bear in mind, if you're going to be using this, that you might be covering up some slide real estate that you're counting on. So you might need to rearrange some of your slide designs um, just to make sure that there's room for yourself there. Uh, you may be covering up a logo or something like that. Keep that all in mind. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hope that's helpful for y'all. Thank you.